Hi folks, Tim here again from High End Cheap Tech. And today we're going to talk about two phones that, you know, these are budget devices, you know, well into the budget category. One's about like 212 and the other is, uh, well, it's got a coupon code right now. You can pick it up for like 151 There's a reason there's a price difference and We'll get to that right after the intro. I'll go over the specs, and we'll deal with it from there. Let's do the intro. All right, folks. Uh, I'm back after that super fantastic same old intro we always have. Um, we're going to go over two phones, you know, not in too much detail. I'm just going to give you the basic specs. I don't have the bandwidth right now to waste on watching 50 reviews on these. I would otherwise, but I can tell you based on the brand names and the actual specs, if they're worth your money, as far as I'm concerned, and right now they are. Both of these I would recommend. But dear God, please do not go out and buy like a 32 gig of storage phone just to save money with only 2 gig of RAM. Don't buy anything that has less than 4. 4 gig of RAM will get the job done. The Mi A3 has it here. My Mi A2. Hell, even my old new mobile G3. There's no excuse to save a dollar by putting 3 gig of RAM into a phone. All right, so first up, right here, full screen, nice picture. Uh, you can see some of the specs, I hope. Uh, this is the Moto G7. It has a Snapdragon from Qualcomm uh, 632. No, it ain't no Snapdragon 660 or 665, but it will get the job done. It has a rear fingerprint reader, a wonderful thing. A thing that should be on every phone ever made. In-screen fingerprint readers based on personal experience absolutely suck. There's no reason for it, because first off, you're hitting the same spot. But if you lay your phone face down, and you can do this easily, because you're going to put a case on it. I'm hypnotizing you. You're going to put a case on your phone. Unless you're 15 years old, or a girl, or... Sorry, girls, but, but you know, you're more worried about what's pretty than what's functional. Get your head out of your ass. Put a case or the lip. That way you can lay it face down, and when you pick it up, your finger will already be on that fingerprint reader. And you'll turn it over, and by the time you've turned it over, you know, people are, it's so cool to get to the face unlock. I just turn it over and hit it here. Oh, you had to take two steps. And then your in screen fingerprint reader worked. Oh, Nine out of ten times. Well, the phones I have with rear fingerprint readers, I got them set up where they work 100 out of 100 times unless you get your fingers all wet or you, you know, something like that. And they're all going to be that way. Uh, so, first one there is that Moto G7. Got a 12 megapixel shooter in the back and a depth sensor. Uh, in the front, it's got an adequate front selfie shooter. <sighs> I do not expect stellar cameras from this one. Uh, but on the other hand, if you're into pure budget, you're buying this for grandma, grandpa, or your kid, they won't care. And they can watch a video on it. It's got like a hundred, four hundred and three pixels per inch display. I think it's six point two 
it's probably on the screen. So I can't see the screen right now because I'm not seeing that picture. Um, this morning, there's nothing wrong with IPS, folks. It's, it's going to be a snappy little phone. And if you can deal with the 64 gig, or you can expand it with an SD card, they even have a bundle um, for a few bucks more. And it's going to work a whole lot better than SD cards do with this Xiaomi Mi A3, which I'm getting to the point where I'm about to give this one away, just like I did the Redmi Note 8. Uh, it's got so many issues. And, uh, it's a good phone. And you can just do a search for this phone, for name, and see some reviews. You probably have cable internet. I don't. So I'm being careful. Now, next up. Ooh, big screen. This one's a much better phone. And if cameras are a little bit important to you, but they're not the be all, you know, if you're not one of those idiots who think, I gotta have a camera where I can zoom in and see the top of the Eiffel Tower. And if my uncle's standing there in from LA, yeah. the sheer idiocy of that kind of stuff. No one needs that crap. No one needs a camera that shoots at eight bazillion frames. You don't need 8K. Nobody has a phone that can show 8K. Hell, all the modes I shoot in, the Mi A3 here can only show it in 720 max. So. And I've been putting them up at 720 only to save on bandwidth. I'd put them all up at 1080. It's got EIS everywhere. Uh, uh, every mode, front, rear, kind of cool. Uh, the Xiaomi P30 has a rear fingerprint reader. You can get in two colors. This is the cheaper of the two colors, the blue. Uh, and there's a there's a coupon on the G7 from Motorola, by the way. Be down to like 51. This one's like 212, at least today. So those links will be in the description below for both. Go out and find some reviews on it. Watch them. See if you think they're worth it. And remember, if you like the video, either subscribe, buy something from the links in the description below. They're all usually with Amazon, and we get some money off of those. Got to make money somewhere. And I'm not even poking an ad in here because that increases the size of the video. So we're going to just leave it at that. And uh, that's all we got for today. And perhaps consider not only subscribing, clicking the little bell, but maybe send us a dollar or two. We're getting near to getting our Wi-Fi back, but we're, you know, ha having to maintain this 720 upload deal because I don't have the bandwidth to waste right now nor the money to waste it. So I'll catch you in the next one, maybe tomorrow. Y'all have a good day. From here in Kentucky, we're, we're so backwards. We're proud of it.